was no holiday for the buzz on Memorial Day. Students at the Ed Smith School in Syracuse are stepping outside the classroom to get and to give a lesson in energy conservation. And they're helping the district save some money, too. Jennifer Sanders takes us to the Ed Smith School, where the kids are becoming trained energy reduction experts. That you guys can get this side of the room. Every week here at Ed Smith School, you'll find Natalie Ficus walking the halls, getting a hands-on lesson in energy sustainability. I've learned that the school uses a lot of energy, and we have to do as much as we can to, like, take down our energy usage. And that's exactly what she's tasked with as part of a program called Kilowatch. Her team goes from room to room, measuring energy use throughout the school. Would you say the blinds are closed? Um, no. No. And we go around and we have door hangers that we put on the doors and we can check off if their lights are left on when they're out of the room and their smart board is left on or if they aren't. Kilowatch is a, um, is a very cost effective way for uh, school districts to manage their energy use and it does so in a way that uh, provides students with a, with a, a learning experience that's very hands on. Students create a spreadsheet to develop recommendations on how to lower the district's utility bills and then reduce its carbon footprint. Some schools have experienced a 4% savings over two years, and that's about $5,700. We are seeing some decrease in energy use in our buildings, as well as the students really getting excited about this. And on the last day of the month, students even get to help with meter readings to measure just how efficient the program is. Is this smart board um, it is on, yes. Okay, but they're using it, so. The focus all along has been energy efficiency, learning to conserve energy. And inside the classroom, students are learning how to save energy at home. We're trying to get them to change the world, make it a cooler place to live. Um, and not have so many of the weather extremes that we've been experiencing across the nation. A lesson that will stick with students like Natalie well after her time here at Ed Smith School. I'll know that when I get older, I can also do my part to reduce energy. Reporting in Syracuse, Jennifer Sanders, News Channel 9. Great work.